Hey, what is up gamers? I'm Fortune 51 Putty here, and yes, uh, Oblivion Remastered is out, and de de they decided to put out an update today that was like 1.9 gigabytes, uh, basically 2 gigabyte update that had broken a lot of things for many, many people. Anyway, if you're using the Game Pass version, I don't know if it's actually having the issues on Steam, but the upscaling is missing, and this is a problem. As you can see, I have everything maxed out here, and I cannot change upscaling, cannot use frame generation or anything like that. Uh, I did find a way that we can actually turn on our upscaling, so we don't have to deal with, you know, just having 45 frames per second, or if you're on, you know, because I'm on the RTX 4080, and this is unacceptable to be able to play at. It's just not possible to play at this. But anyway, um, we do have a way that we can do this. Now, my first thoughts, uh, let's get out of here real quick. My first thoughts was to go ahead and use uh, NVIDIA app. And the NVIDIA app is actually not working. So here we are in the NVIDIA app. And the problem uh, here is uh, you can go ahead and set it to, you know, latest, set this one to latest. And then you can go ahead and try to set your application. As you see, it's at default. And the only default that I had was DLAA without frame gen on. Um, unfortunately, I have no way to get frame gen working, only the regular upscaling. So the only way I was able to achieve this was by using the DLSS swapper first. Uh, if you download and install DLSS swapper, it should bring up uh, the latest games here. You know, show the ones that I have installed, the ones that it, it finds on you. And then if you click here and then click on the DLSS, you can change it to whichever version you want. As long as you change it, it doesn't matter which version you use. Um, I, you know, I like using DLSS 4. Uh, so, you know, I go ahead and I swap it to that and then, you know, close it. It'll, it'll save our, our file. So long as we, long as we have this set up, and we have the, the that part done. When you go back and close your game, and then come back to using the DLSS swapper, uh, or sorry, the NVIDIA app, uh, you should be able to select which version you want to go to. So right now I'm on DLAA, and we'll go ahead and we'll switch it to the uh, ultra performance mode and get that to work. All right, so we are back, and now we have uh, our ultra performance mode on. And as you can see, it is actually working. We're getting like 70, 79 frames per second. And it does uh, it, it does have issues still, but we're in DLSS 4, and that is a little bit beta to Oblivion Remastered. But I'll have to uh, show you how to install the uh the dlss swapper because yeah this is uh kind of an issue <laughs> we definitely uh need the game developers to be looking for stuff like this so so pretty much they dropped the ball can uh, how can i help you get out of my way <laughs> so basically uh the developers kind of dropped the ball on on this i mean they should notice when they put out a patch that it's going to completely disable the anti-aliasing from everybody so we're gonna go ahead and uh show you how where we can download the dlss swapper and everything all right so if you go over to github um all you have to do is really search up uh dlss swapper dash swapper will help as well and as you can see it has all your information that you would need for dlss swapper and it works you know for pretty much everything in xbox uh app which is basically what I'm using right now. And you can go ahead and download it by, uh, you should be able to go to releases here and you can see which releases you have. And this is the pre-release one. I have a, an older version of it. Once you're here, you, you can download the portable version um, or just use the installer. I usually use the installer, but the portable version is fine. Let's go ahead and download that and install it as, as normal, or like I said, use the portable version. Um, if you use the installer, it's gonna say it needs to protect your PC, you not wanna run it or anything. It's it's fine to just go ahead and run this one. Uh, the portable version does this as well. All right, uh, it's saying it's currently running because I already have it installed. We'll go ahead and close that 
because I am installing a new version. This is a newer version than the one that I have anyway. Completed, finish, and then you should be able to just go ahead and run it. And there we go. Uh, the easy as that, and then once you, like I was showing you before, all I have to do is go ahead and click on it, uh, go ahead, put on the, the version you want to use. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter which version you use as long as you use the DLSS swapper first. It seems like that is uh, kicking in the NVIDIA app so that it's able to actually get it working for you. Uh, it, it sucks. Like I said, there's no way to get the frame generation to work on it. And that part really sucks because, you know, frame generation is nice to have. If you are using frame generation and when they do fix this, um, if you're seeing stuttering or anything like that, make sure you turn off your uh, V-Sync. Uh, if you don't have a G-Sync monitor, that will probably cause you to see some tearing and stuff like that. So then, unfortunately, you're kind of just stuck with tearing or no deal, no uh, frame generation at all. That is one thing I, I was uh, working on the other day as well. Uh, it just, it, that's frame gen and B-Sync do not work well together in many, many games. Anyway, yeah, that is all we're going to do for this video today. I do apologize that uh, y'all have to deal with this because it really sucks, man. It, it just really sucks. They didn't put out no patch notes or anything for this. Uh, update they just put it out and it was like all right yep uh it, it's good to go but yeah it is not they put out a, a, a statement saying that they're aware of this issue and that they're going to uh you know look into it but who knows how long that could be so and in, in the meantime this will probably be the only way that we can do it if you have any other suggestions or ways to do it let me know in the comments i will definitely look into it and if if needed we'll do another video and uh make sure everybody is informed on it and can do it as well anyway that's all we're going to do for this video today make sure you hit that like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel y'all take care and happy gaming